What did the ocean say to the ship? Nothing, it just waved. The ocean is always in motion, and this video takes us on a deeper dive into a key part of the ocean's movement, and one that impacts our ability to explore the sea floor. Waves. See how Nautilus moves in the water? Waves are regular patterns of motion that can be made in water by disturbing the surface. Think about dropping something into a bathtub, pond, or puddle. The energy of the drop creates ripples that spread out in all directions. In the ocean, wind is that disturbing force. When the wind pushes against the top of the water, it transfers energy into motion and waves spread out across the ocean. The more intensely or longer the wind blows, the larger the amount of energy transferred and therefore the larger the waves. This means you can see waves thousands of miles away from where the wind first started pushing the water. When looking at or floating on the ocean, what we experience as a rolling motion is not actually the water moving, but instead is energy passing through the water. Millions of molecules of water bump against each other, transferring energy that can be moved around the world. And there's a great deal more to waves than first meets the eye. Waves are described in different ways. The highest part of the wave is its crest. The lowest part is called its valley or trough. The distance between the crests is known as the wavelength, and the distance from crest to crest is called the amplitude. Again, waves transmit energy, not water, across the ocean and can travel thousands of miles. There are also many different types of waves that come from different sources. One is chop, which are small waves created as wind drags against the top of the ocean. Energy is transferred from wind to water, creating friction that causes small ripples and bigger bumps in the up and down movements. Chop waves are small enough that our ship isn't impacted by their energy, although to a smaller bird like an albatross, they may feel huge. Another type of wave is known as swell. This is often caused by sustained wind and can travel thousands of miles. Sometimes, our ship experiences large swell from distant storms impacting our ability to use the ROVs. Surfers love a good swell because it allows them to catch gnarly waves on shore. And finally, some waves are transformed from different energy inputs, such as the moon's gravity or underwater landslides. These are pretty rare, but let's go over them anyway. Tsunamis are created when energy is pushed into the water from a large event such as an earthquake or a landslide. Tsunamis are very rare, but they can be enormous, starting small in the ocean and getting bigger as they get into shallow water near the shore. If you're at sea, you might barely feel it at all, but on the beach, watch out. Tidal waves can be even bigger than tsunamis. They are created by the energy of gravity from the moon. The moon's pull on our oceans causes these slow motion traveling waves that bounce around the oceans. So ocean waves are very complex. What we feel in the ship is a result of many combined types of waves from the local wind, the tides, and distant weather systems, even coming from different directions at once. Standing on the back deck of Nautilus, it's normal to be able to see wind waves or chop and swell from one or more directions. This movement impacts our ability to explore when swell moves the ship enough that we can't safely launch and recover vehicles. When two waves meet, their energy can combine, making the waves look bigger. This creates heave, ship movement that can travel down the ROV tethers and impact our seafloor exploration. So put another way, when diving, motion from the ship's stern travels down the cable directly to Argus, raising it up on the crest of the swell and falling in the troughs of the waves. This movement is something the team watches closely to make sure Hercules is not impacted miles below. Okay, so let's review. Ocean waves are caused by energy traveling through the water. The type of wave depends on how that energy is transmitted into the water. Be it wind, land events like earthquakes, or even gravity caused by the moon. 
Finally, learning about and watching waves is a big part of being an explorer to keep teams safe and comfortable at sea. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Now go out and take this knowledge and make some waves.